few people have seen you today for the first time. Eh? Yes. I'll meet you for the first time here. Yes, sir. Come. It's a spirit. Come on. Come on. Where is your husband, Mama? Nigeria. Eh? Nigeria. He's in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Your husband in Nigeria? Yes, sir. He's in Nigeria. Where do you come from? United States. Eh? United States. Yeah. You want to pray for your marriage, eh? There will be unity. Come. <laughs> be healed. You are free. Come. Okay, make this one. This one you've got a demon. <laughs> what I do to her? Huh? <laughs> what I do here? <laughs> oh my God. My God. <laughs> You demon, come on, stop it. Come on. Let's go. Come on, brother. Touch your stomach. Where do you come from? Huh? I'm from Pumalanga, but originally Zambia. God wants to use you, eh? That's huh? Tonight, I saw you in the dream tonight. You say what? I saw you in the dream tonight. I can't hear. I, I saw you in the dream tonight. I, after I saw the calendar where I was left, I saw you, you appear I in the saw dream. you in the dream tonight after seeing you in the calendar this English where is, I'm sleeping. It's for educated people. I can't hear. You say, you say what? He said, <laughs> <laughs> he saw you tonight after seeing you in the calendar where he's I can't sleeping. He said triple, triple. He said tonight. He said triple. I can't hear. You say what, my brother? I saw you at night, sir. At night? Yes. You were saying what? I saw you. You were explaining how the power of the anointing on the hair. You, you were instructed me how the anointing should be on the hair. That's why God is telling me that he wants to use you. I must anoint you. Amen. You, you, stand up. Stand up. You are here for impartation. Is not true? Yes, it's true, Daddy. Huh? It's true. Let, let me anoint you. Leave him, leave him, leave his specs, leave his specs, leave his specs. Uh -huh. Now you can take them now. Take it! In the name of Jesus Christ, you are anointed. I... Rise up, my brother, rise up, rise up. I know, you can you look at him, rise up. I know what God is doing in him. He has never fallen down this man, he's a very strong man. He's a man of prayer. You know him? Eh? He's my husband. He is your husband. He has surprises like this. Eh? Yes. Because you know he has never fallen down. Yes. Eh? Even yourself, you are falling now. Go and join your husband. Abba, 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 where now? Abba, you are anointed. Stand up. Uh, my name is uh, Leonard Kalenga Emanuel. I'm from Mpumalanga, originally from Zambia. Uh, the woman next to me, she's my wife. Uh, the challenge is uh, what I was passing through after uh, getting married. Uh, my wife she was complaining the great pain in the stomach. So uh, she was feeling something moving like a, uh, a snake. We couldn't do, understand what's the problems. So we decided to come uh, to come to Charlie's mission to discover the problem. What's the problems? Then uh, the apostle of God uh, prophesied uh, my wife that uh, there is a problem in the stomach, which is moving, so that uh, uh, you should not have a baby, which is true because uh, we have uh, experienced these things. Uh, it's now three weeks. Yeah. No. Uh, sometimes. Uh, I can be a man of God, uh, but the solution cannot be in the house. The solution can be to someone, you know. Like uh, uh, Jesus went to uh, to John uh, to seek his help and baptized him. He was he was greater than uh, uh, John the Baptist, but he, he wanted to find the solutions. It doesn't mean that when I become the man of God, I can solve the situation in the house. 
I can be a doctor, but I cannot be cured by my own. I should request the other doctors to help me when I got sick. So it doesn't mean that when I become the doctor, I can solve everything, or when I become the pastor, I can solve everything. Uh, we need someone who, are, who can also support you in some problems. Yes, these things have been troubling for uh, two weeks. I was feeling the great pain. I would cry. So we decided to go to the hospital. We go for the scan. The doctor scan didn't find any problem. That's when we decided to come to our father so that he can help. We can see the problem. Yes. He explained exactly what I've been experiencing, the great pain. And I w what what was saying, it was very true. Because he explained what I've been experienced. And he played for me. And I'm, I, while he was speaking to me, I was feeling the same pain. The ovary started paining, also the stomach. He played for me. I'm now free. I can't feel any more the pain. I'm free. I'm, fi I'm very fit. 100% fit. Amen. Uh, I, I was feeling good uh, because... Like what I said, there are some graces whereby you have to, to submit to every person of, of the father and the mother, no? So when something starts moving on the, in, your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your life or in your spirit, you have to seek uh, who is your father, where can you run to to find the solution. So uh, yesterday it was the great things because the man of God uh, uh, rocketed me and says, you need impartation and this is what i was really uh, waiting for then i said yes uh, it was true uh, i was really ready to impart it i know uh, i am a pastor i can deliver people but there's some anointing whereby you can be connected to you no know, so that the uh, uh, the more anointing the more solutions comes so after the man of god prayed for me i feel the great power in my body even today uh the time the man of God prayed for me uh, because I was facing a challenge in my church. The churches wanted uh, to depart in one, uh, I mean in two. So man of God told me that don't worry about uh, what is going to happen because God loves you and your ministry it will grow. These circumstances comes in order you uh, to, to be more, uh, more anointed, uh, more people to come to you and it is true, it is true. The problem which, which affected the, the, the ministry uh, to, be, to be wanted to be cut off uh, of two. Uh, uh, I have my spiritual son. Uh, uh, this spiritual son of mine, uh, the time I went to Zambia for, for my wedding, I left him with the church. So I don't know what was happening. I find things missing up and down. So I was starting crying, crying, crying because the church it was it was moving well, and I don't know what happened behind. So I was how wha, how how these things started moving like this. So I came to my father to understand: Am I a problem, or uh, the church are the problem? I wanted to know so that maybe if my father can discover that I am the problem, I was I was willing to receive even to rebuke me. I was ready. But uh, through prophecy, my father doesn't mention who I am, concerning maybe I was violence for the church. Uh, even today, he said, you are a good man. The Lord loves you. So I don't know what has happened, but uh, what the apostle says, he says, uh, everything is fine. These things happen for the purpose of God. So don't worry if he, you lost people, more people, they are coming. That's what i very, very uh, uh, happy because... I was thinking as if I am a problem, maybe the church will start moving. And the man of God doesn't uh, mention any demon which attack the church. Uh, the man of God mentioned that uh, don't worry about what happened. God will bring something back to you. Uh, I'm, very, I'm, very, I'm very, very happy because sometimes, you know, when you've just been uh, accusing yourself, who I am, who I am, maybe I'm the problem. I, you know, sometimes as men of God, you have been accused that... Uh, this problem, uh, the problem, the church, but the man of God is the problem, or the, the man of God is the problem. So that was made, made me to come here.
to know, Father, am I the problem to make these people moving away from me? I just wanted to encourage you, my fellow pastors, you know, sometimes when you are facing the challenges, it doesn't mean that you are a demon. It doesn't mean that uh, you are not a prayerful man of God. Me, like what the apostle uh, mentioned yesterday, you are said, I am a prayerful man of God. But I was not even expected this thing to happen. Now, things which happen into our lives, it doesn't mean that I am not a prayerful man of God or woman of God. Things uh, happen for the purpose. I was wanted to know who I am if I am a problem to my ministry. But the Lord doesn't say anything else. But I'm just saying, uh, I uh, advise you, uh, readers all the world, a uh, thorough uh, man of God and the uh, man of God, that the problems comes from the progress. May face challenges to bring changes in your life. So it doesn't, don't, it doesn't mean when people run out from you, that maybe the demons chase them away. Maybe sometimes God it can allow some certain people to move out from your church in order God to bring the new souls in your life. The word of encouragement which I can give the whole world, don't be staying at home. You have to find the solution. Me, I sat down with my husband to find the solution. No wonder we have come to our daddy so that he can help us. And indeed, we are free now from all our challenges, which was bothering us. We are free. Whatever you are listening to me, just find the solution. Come to our daddy. He's going to pray for you. Don't just stay to be going for us. Yeah, you can be going to the hospital while praying, the other area praying. Amen. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. I'm healed now. Amen.